Okay, today is October the 16th, 2018. And uh, right now at 10.30 p.m. we have a temperature of 57 degrees uh, in the foothills of Los Angeles. The relative humidity is 32%. The dew point is 28 degrees. And the barometer is reading 29.96. Uh, so uh, today we had clear skies, uh, light winds. Uh, the last few days since I did the last video, we've had a lot of wind. In fact, uh, the day after we had that three-eighths of an inch of rain, the day after, uh, we, uh, we had the uh, wind event begin. And we can take a look at that here in this uh, uh, water vapor map. This is the SSCC water vapor map. And we can see that uh, high pressure was installed. Uh, the, the reason we had wind in California, in Southern California, is, is uh, this low, the center of this low was right over uh, Southern California. And of course, uh, when the high pressure was installed in this area, we had clockwise rotation here and counterclockwise rotation here. And that uh, produced a lot of offshore wind in the 60 to 70 mile per hour range. And it blew down uh, just a lot of uh, branches, a lot of, uh, a lot of trees. Uh, were down around the area, the entire LA and Orange County areas. And so we see this blockade continue. This was installed in order to block this uh, giant gale force system uh, about two, three days ago. This was a huge weather system. And we can see that it's still uh, moving uh, westbound, or rather, pardon me, eastbound towards the uh, west coast. And we can see uh, right angles on this. Uh, weather system at, at various points. As we go through the loop here, we can see the right angles that are uh, imprinted on that uh, center on the on the vortex. And that is the reason why uh, this high pressure was installed to, to block this thing while they work on it. Now, uh, down here on the, uh, let's look at the hurricane map. This is a former tropical storm Terra, which formed and this moved up it was right near the uh, the coast of Mexico, right here, and uh, that system was blown apart. And right down here, we have another disturbance. This moved across the uh, Central American uh, area here. This is a uh, disturbance with a 60% chance of hurricane formation in two days. And then we have this uh, disturbance out here with a 10% chance right about at 115 uh, west longitude right here. So let's go back to the big map and we can see that, uh, put the uh, grid on. This is the approximate area where that uh, yellow disturbance is, is a mark with a 10% chance. And this is Terra right here, which was getting caught in the, in the jet stream. And that's why this thing was blown apart. Let's look at, uh, you can see Terra right down here. Everything is moving out to the east. So if you look at the uh, the jet stream map, we can see that uh, here's the jet stream. Terra is down here, and everything is flowing out that way. So this storm was quickly blown apart. Uh, yesterday there was quite quite a bit of uh, really good evidence showing how uh, these uh, developing hurricanes are superheated and destroyed. And once again, uh, Hurricane Michael was allowed, that was a planned disaster that was allowed to form and, and move right into uh, Florida. No question about it. People have been, uh, you know, the people that have been following this video, this channel for uh, three, three years and a few months know we've got dozens of examples of these storms being superheated and blown apart. And for some reason, uh, Michael didn't get blown apart. So those people, these uh, goons controlling our weather, these terrorists controlling our weather, have blood on their hands. There's, uh, I think, uh, 30 people now, I think it was I heard on the radio today, 30 people now confirmed dead uh, because of uh, the lack of response on the part of the weather controllers. So we see a half of a low pressure here. We have a half of a low pressure over here. And we've got high pressure installed here to block this uh, incoming uh, weather system. And so the same thing could have happened right in the Gulf of Mexico. If we recall from uh, the years 2005 all the way up through 2015, we had 
zero major storms in the Gulf of Mexico. Ten years with no storms. That's a matter of record. So anybody can look that up and then we can ask, well, what happened? Well, that was allowed to happen. Hurricane Michael was allowed to happen. And uh, we can see here the high pressure being installed. We've got these, uh, everything here is uh, moving away. The descending air here is pushing away this water vapor. You see this very dry area right here. This has been stationary for the last two and a half days. So we had three eighths of an inch of rain on, uh, on Saturday. And by Sunday night, we still had 87% relative humidity at, uh, at midnight. And by 12.35, the winds began. 12.35 a.m. Monday morning, the, the winds uh, began. And we saw uh, the relative humidity drop to about 20% within one hour. So by 1, one o'clock in the morning, on Monday morning, uh, the humidity had dropped in an hour and a half from 87% all the way down to about 20%. And then the following morning, we went to bed and then got up several hours later, Monday morning, and the humidity was down at uh, 9%. And that went down even further later in the day to about 7%. So here we see how these weather controllers can uh, create gl you know, global warming conditions. We've got we've had 80 degree weather during the day the last few days right on the heels of a nice little rain event. We got three eighths of an inch of rain. Now the the, the ground is is uh, is bone dry as before. So the benefit of the rain is is been completely lost because the the grounds uh, the saturation the water saturation in the ground is has been completely evaporated over the last uh, couple of days. We're we're almost here at Wednesday. And uh, we still have light uh, Santa Ana winds blowing. We've, we only have 31% relative humidity. The dew point was down at about 9 degrees as well. 8, 7, 7 degrees for the dew point here just a, a couple of nights ago on Monday, Monday morning. We have jet stream flow here. And we have a low pressure system moving in towards the uh, California coast. That's being blocked. We also have a low pressure right over here. That was a dry low. Let's go over to the next map here. We can see it better. This was right over us here just a, just a couple of days ago. And that, that was uh, the center of this low was right over us. And so the proximity of this center and the installed high, which is clearly outlined right here, caused all that wind. And now we're told that maybe on Saturday we'll see a rerun of, of the Santa Ana winds. This is what they call them, the Stooges on TV call these wind events the Santa Ana winds. And in fact, there's, this is just a manufactured uh, weather event. And so global warming is, is really nothing more than a climate control because uh, you can install high pressure like this over Greenland. You can install it over the North Pole for several weeks and, and the ice melts and, and, and the ocean uh, levels will rise. So when you go to the, uh, the voting booths uh, this November, remember who's Who's not telling you the truth? You know what the uh, mainstream media, you know what their uh, their narrative is, and and the story that they peddle about CO2 and global warming, and they don't tell you anything else about it. It's just that we have to tax it, and uh, it's catastrophic. And if we don't fix it in ten years, the whole world's going to blow up, and and that's it. So, and that's the story you get. But uh, there's a reason why. Everybody, there's a reason why these maps are not shown on the nightly news and the national news and the local news. There's a reason why. And the reason is, is that this is not Mother Nature. These, these right angles that we're seeing on these low pressure systems are not Mother Nature. This installed stationary high is not Mother Nature. It's not CO2 causing, uh, is not the cause. CO2, carbon dioxide, is not the cause of what we're seeing in these uh, weather maps. We see the time lapse of, uh, we already showed this, but we can see the right angles, the imprints here. So remember all this when you go to the voting booths and, and remember that uh, the Democrats aren't going to help solve this problem. They're peddling the, the, the fake, uh, phony uh, 
carbon dioxide slash global warming uh, hype. And we need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, this is climate control. This is uh, nothing more than climate control. It has nothing to do with carbon dioxide. That's a cover story. Here we see the Doppler map. There's no rain in uh, California once again. All the other southwestern states in the south are getting plenty of rain. Okay, so that's the uh, report. And uh, we're, we're just going to hope that we get some more rain. That's in the hands of these uh, weather controllers. Uh, that's the way it is. Okay, that's it.